Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys four different methods which you can use to clear RAM memory on your iPhone. Now when it comes to RAM memory, of course, nowadays the iPhones, the newer ones, have way more memory and of course with every other update, that memory will be managed way better by the iPhones. But why you need to actually clear the RAM memory of your iPhone. So as I said, iPhones have an amazing way of managing the RAM memory, but you would need to actually clean the RAM memory when your iPhone is maybe not working like it should, or you have an app that is freezing, or you basically just go ahead and open and close an app and it still gives you like the same freeze, it doesn't work like it should, then you need to get that app out of the RAM memory. The way to do that is of course by cleaning the RAM memory. I will show you guys four different ways on how you can do that. The first two ways are by using two different apps which are free from the app store but before I get into all that I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more iPhone, more iOS 16 videos make sure to subscribe it really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting things off with device monitor. Now this is an app that will monitor your device and will give you every detail you need to know regarding your device. And when you scroll here, you will get a section that it says RAM. You can actually go here and it will show you the RAM memory that you have free on your iPhone, the compressed RAM memory, the inactive RAM memory, and of course the active RAM memory. You can see currently we have 7.8% of free RAM memory. And this app actually offers a button which allows us to easily clear the RAM memory on your iPhone. As you can see, currently we're on 7.8. Now when we tap the button, it will drop even more. And then of course it will clear the RAM memory. So just like that, you can see right here, it has freed 18, 829 megabytes of RAM. And now we have right there, as you can see, 22.6% mega, 22 of the free RAM memory from the total that the iPhone has which is a six gigs on this iPhone. Next up is CPUX. This is another free app that you can get from the App Store that actually allows to clear the RAM memory of your iPhone. Now again, just like Device Monitor, this will also give you a ton of details regarding your device. And if you're not actually installing this to clear RAM memory, you can install it for the other things that it shows you, basically all the details you need to know regarding your device. So here on the home screen, you will have a section where it says memory. What you can do here is go ahead and go to free up. But first of all, let's take a look at the details here. So the capacity 5.89 right there, free one gig. So what you can do is tap right there. It will optimize the RAM memory right there. You can see it has free now 430 megabytes from the RAM memory. And we have now 1.4 of free gigabytes of RAM memory. So as I said at the beginning of the video, now when we just start working something on the iPhone, of course, that space will be taken up just in like probably a few seconds or minutes. This is not why we clear the RAM memory. Again, we clear the RAM memory just maybe to get rid of any issues that we might have with any apps or any feature of the iPhone. And now we're moving on to two different ways to actually do this, clear the RAM memory without having to actually install a third party app on your device. And this is the one I love right here is the easiest to do and it's actually effective. So let's move on to an app here just to take a look at the free RAM memory that we currently have. So there's the RAM memory and you can see it says free 6.3%. It's actually 349 megabytes of free RAM memory. All you have to do here is just open the camera app of your iPhone. Open the camera app just for a couple of seconds. Close the app. When we go back, you will see right there. It jumps at almost one gig of free RAM memory. So actually the camera app does work on clearing your RAM memory of the iPhone. I've tested this on multiple devices on multiple iOS versions and it actually does work very, very smooth. As you can see, all you have to do is open and close the camera app. And last but not least is the oldest method known to clear the RAM memory of the iPhone. Now this used to be done when we had iPhones 
with home buttons but you can actually do that on an iPhone without a home button as well. So what you need to do first is go ahead and head on to your settings, go under accessibility, and then go to touch and make sure you have enabled assistive touch. You will actually need to have assistive touch instead of the home button for this to work. So go ahead and go here, make sure you enable this, and here we will have, of course, the button. When you tap right there, you will have the home button right here. Now what you need to do next is head on to the shutdown screen of your iPhone. But first of all, let's just take a look at the, at the RAM memory here. So we have about 500 megabytes of free RAM memory. What you need to do next to actually free up the RAM memory on your device is go volume up, volume down, side button. Volume up, volume down, side button until you see this screen right here, the slide to power off screen. Now what you need to do is just tap on that button and tap and hold where it says home. And just like that, it will actually take you to your lock screen. From here, what you need to do is just go ahead and get in your device. And you will see right here, when we go back to the usage app, we have now almost one gig of free RAM memory. So just like that, it did actually free up an extra 500 megabytes of RAM memory. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are four different methods that you can actually use on your iPhone running iOS 16 up to iOS 16.2 to clear the RAM memory on your iPhone. Again, as I said at the beginning of the video, this will not speed up your iPhone or it won't keep that memory free for a long time. This is just in case you have an app that maybe is freezing, not working as it should, or maybe have any glitches on your iPhone. You can try this method, these one of these methods out and of course, clear that RAM memory of your iPhone, clear those apps from the RAM memory, and hopefully you will get things fixed on your apps or whatever you're having problems with. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And of course, don't forget to smash the like button on this one. I will see you guys on the next video.